Hey guys, Jimmy Smummy here with another squad video. Today I'm going to be talking about tickets. What do they mean and how to use them? Uh, I'm going to be going over uh, game modes and uh, cost of losing a point on a game mode, cost of gaining points. Uh, I'm going to be talking about vehicles, uh, cost of losing vehicles, uh, gaining vehicle, well, gaining kills on vehicles, and also players and uh, teammates. Um, once I go through all those, I'm going to be going over a few situations where maybe we should have held back and uh, stayed on point, or maybe uh, we did the right thing and stayed on the point when, uh, if we would have pushed, we would have lost the game because of the ticket loss. So I'm going to be going over a little bit of that. And uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoy the video, please like the video, comment, and uh, tell me if what you guys want to see in squad or if you guys want to see another game. Uh, let me know, and thanks for watching. So let's just go over the main concept of tickets. Uh, certain events during a match will trigger ticket costs for your team and sometimes your opponent's team. This includes loss or gain of tickets on one or both teams. Um, so therefore, if say a suicide happens on, uh, uh, your team, you get minus one, say you capture a point in game mode X, your team gets 60, the opponent's team gets minus 10. It varies sometimes. Um, your opponent and obviously team player goes in incapacitated state. So this means that they're down. They have the option to give up, uh, to call for a medic. So they're waiting to get revived. Nothing happens, obviously, because nothing has happened other than the play player is registered and incapacitated. Um, there's also a uh, player dies or gives up. Your team, if your teammate dies or gives up, you get minus one. Uh, player commits suicide, you get minus one. <laughs> we already went over that. Commander dies or gives up, you get minus two. So it's a little, it's commander is a little bit higher price than the uh, regular infantry. Um, so let's go over each of the game modes um, and see how they break down to ticket loss and maybe uh, go over a couple situations on maybe how to use that to your advantage. Okay, so purpose for this video not going on forever, um, I'm going to just go over the main capture point game modes, not uh, objective game modes, but just because uh, the capture points are a lot more uh, prevalent in the game and... Uh, you know, you don't play too many objective game modes anymore. Uh, you used to see quite a bit of territory control. You don't see that too much at, at all anymore, and you never see destruction or, or insurgency. So I'm just going to go over the four main, starting with advanced and secure. Um, for you guys that don't remember, uh, advanced and secure is just uh, like random advanced and secure, except all the points are already mapped out and you know where they are. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting with advanced and secure and uh, random advanced and secure mechanics because they are the exact same. Um, so plus 20 uh, for capturing neutral flags that have not been owned previously, i.e. start of the game. So whoever captures uh, the very midpoint is going to be, uh, so there's uh, usually two points leading up to the center point and the center point is where conflict typically happens um whoever captures that uh, center point is gonna have plus 20 off the beginning um plus 60 for capturing flags that belongs to the enemy so it might be beneficial off the be if this is a very competitive game to lead the game with them capturing the center point but have a very fast reaction and capture that and you instantly gain uh 60 points so you get 40 over what they had um well 50 actually because they get minus 10 for when a uh, flag capture happens so every time a flag capture happens that belongs to you, you get minus 10 um every time that a radio gets uh destroyed you get minus 10 uh minus one uh ticket by infantry lost okay bleed out so that even means give up okay um it doesn't matter how you die either way you get minus one 
um by light transports or logistics costs we'll get more into what the light vehicles are considered for newer players to squad uh you get minus five minus ten by armored personnel carriers apcs and uh infantry fighting vehicles ifes lost uh we'll get we'll break those down a little bit more so you can see them visually uh, a little bit later in the video and also the mbts the main battle tanks lost you get minus 15. um so the ticket bleed so for the ticket bleed the main things that you just got to remember is that for odd so if the uh matches have or the layer has a an odd number like five objectives the middle ground is neutral and it doesn't uh, trigger anything until you capture the next one, okay? Uh, if it's an even, um, you just have to capture more than half of them to trigger the bleed on an enemy. And in case of a double neutral uh, stalemate situation, all ticket bleed mechanics will be paused until the stalemate is resolved. Um... Once your team captures all control points on the map, the enemy will begin to mercy bleed. It's a fixed value of 60 tickets over 60 seconds, so a ticket every second. The tickets tick down continuously every second. Mercy bleed out will stop if the enemy team manages to capture back the last control points. Okay? Ticket bleed indication was added to the ui as you can see if you ever notice that w minus one ticket per minute minus two ticket per minute um it all the it that's what the that's what people mean when they say ticket bleed um so some tips that they have on here is don't play as an individual as your score won't affect the match um squad leaders must coordinate with other sls to cover the active points it's very important okay so even if you're not squad leader even communicate to your squad leader and say hey maybe it's better for our squad to go back and uh, defend or maybe it's better for our squad to go up and uh, um, capture it's always good to just shoot stuff off your sl and he will hopefully uh, be forgiving and uh, be open to suggestions as an sl should be um, communicate with other members to establish good fobs um, this is pretty key for SLs, um, but also if you're not an SL, don't be afraid to shoot off your SL and be like, hey, what about here for a fob? Hey, what about here for a fob? And if one's already decided, leave it, okay? Because he's already coordinated with other te with the other um, uh, squads where that fob is going, so just leave that position. But if he's wondering where to put it, Open to uh, open him to some suggestions. Okay, um, let's move on to skirmish. So for skirmish, it's a little bit different. Um, the starting tickets are much lower than um, advanced and secure and random advanced and secure. Uh, generally, there are about hundred tickets for each team. Uh, when a control point is first captured, the team gains ten tickets. When a team captures uh, an enemy control point, the ticket gain slash loss is plus twenty or minus twenty, depending on which team you're on. Um, uh, when a team reaches zero, that team loses the match. So it's pretty standard, pretty, um, cut clear. Uh, skirmish does not have, um, any, um, death penalty. So like minus one, uh, if you die or plus one, if you get a kill, that does not do anything in, uh, skirmish at all. Uh, so let's just hop into invasion and let's go over that the tickets for that real quick and then we'll go into vehicles so if you noticed in invasion you generally start with a very low ticket count if you're on the attacking and you start with a very high if you're defending um you don't ever gain any when you're defending you can only lose um capturing control points in invasion is only possible for the attacking team um there's no ticket bleed for either defender or attacker so if you if the attackers capture all but one that does not matter does not bleed any tickets um for gaining tickets you get plus the attackers get plus 100 tickets for um successfully capturing each control point so each one gives the attackers 100 tickets um in invasion there is no ticket loss for losing a control point except the final control point the defending team will lose all remaining tickets if they lose their final control point um so that means they lose the game 
So yeah, so now let's just go into vehicles and I will just show a brief uh, description of light vehicles, armor vehicles, and MVTs uh, going through the ticket laws for your, uh, each one very quickly and yeah. Okay, so for vehicles, lodgies and transport, you're going to see minus five tickets uh, if you lose them. So if they are blown up in the battle, that you lose five tickets. Um, same goes for scout cars, recon vehicles, light attack vehicles. Um, this also goes for uh, some Russian forces uh, APCs. However, for Armored Hunters, it is minus 10, and for all the other APCs, it is minus 10. Um, for IFVs, all across the board, it's minus 10, except for the MTLV, which is it's not really a very great IFV, uh, so that's why it's a little bit lower. Um, and 15 all across the board for the MBTs, and for the helicopters, it's minus 5 each. Um... So yeah, that's a quick little breakdown of each of the vehicles and how much they cost uh, for destroying them in the game. Uh, they don't, you don't gain any from destroying them, but the enemy team loses uh, a certain amount. So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I hope I went over every single uh, position for tickets and I went over a couple of ways to use tickets to your advantage. Um, I hope I covered uh, all the ways that uh, tickets are used and also ways for the general player to use them in your advantage and you know think about where you're placing your fobs think about uh, that IFE or MBT that you're sending out into the middle of enemy fire and uh, when you're low on tickets and maybe hold back uh, vehicles when you're low on tickets so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed that video um, please like and comment the uh, on the video if you guys enjoyed it and thank you and i'll see you guys in the next one